Okay, quick project for this, uh, I'd like to save for this day, but this has taken a lot longer than a day for me to do. Um, but anyway, this is a trailer jack, electric trailer jack I recently purchased. Um, I've owned trailers for probably about 15 years, and I normally just hand crank them. Um, one of the issues is, even with a backup camera, it's difficult to get the, the, the ball underneath the trailer hits just perfect. And I always end up playing the circus of um, backing up, trying to see if I'm underneath. It looks good in the camera. I get out, go back. I'm a half an inch off. Get back in the truck, move it what I think is the right amount. Go back, play that circus two, three times usually before I get it lined up. It's a lot easier if you have somebody to be able to do that and lower it down while you're still in the truck. So one of these jacks came up on my feed recently and I started thinking about it and I got a pretty good deal on this one and uh, mostly I bought it because I wanted to just make it easier for hand cranking it but then the idea of boy what if I could remote this and allow this to be ran from the um, seat of my truck so what this will allow me to do is be able to use a remote that I bought you can see this here is just, I've got two of these with this. This was a little board that came from um, Amazon and it's underneath here. So we can see there, this little board here, it's like, I'm going to say it was like $18 from Amazon. Okay. And then this I needed in order to reverse the polarity. This switch that's factory is using just a method where they use a double pull, double throw re, uh, switch and they crisscross the to two opposite sides so it is very basic and that it just turns the motor and reverses the, the voltage to it um, but in order to remote this and control this uh, with the remote i needed to be able to control it with these relays and i thought i could just kind of uh, change the wiring on this but there wasn't going to be an easy way to do that so i ended up getting this winch reversing solenoid which allows you to with uh you can do it with just a single pull double throw toggle switch but in my case i'm wiring it so that i can control it with the remote but i also wanted to leave the factory um, configuration so i had to rewire this and this basically drives the solenoid directly. Or if I turn the switch that I have here on, there's a switch on top of this. So without that switch being turned on, the remote doesn't work. And that's by design because this pulls enough current um, when it's in standby waiting for the remote to be triggered that it would run my battery dead. And I'm very rarely using the trailer. So I just would go up to this turn this switch on that activates the the remote and now with the remote i can run the jack in either direction by just hitting the either one of these buttons so that's going to be really nice once it's on the trailer and i'll be able to back up and then lower the jack down onto it while i'm in the cab of the truck so pretty cool little project